Hi there grade nines and welcome to Worksheet Cloud Maths. As you know, my name is Joe Milligan and we are going to be looking at the properties of geometric figures. Today in particular we're going to be looking at the properties of triangles. And I'm going to want to well I want to prove three properties to you and I'd love it if you could actually do these as we go or on your own afterwards to prove it to yourself that it works in many different situations. So the first one is all angles add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so all angles in a triangle give you 180 degrees. There I've drawn a triangle and I've color coded the angles with a red star, a yellow star and a green star. Right, what we're going to do is take out those angles so that we can work with them and we're going to draw a straight line and we're going to look at the straight line being 180 degrees because if we were to take our protractor and we were to put it on here there you would see it is a straight line so a straight line is 180 degrees that can almost be a fourth property as well but that's not really of a triangle it's just a property of a straight line that angles on a straight line give you 180 degrees but we now are going to be looking at these angles in the triangle and we are going to try and put them onto the straight line so we first put the yellow triangle or the red, yellow angle, it's from that part of the triangle, there it is on the straight line. We then take the green one and we put it onto that side of the straight line. You can see that their vertices meet together, so it's this angle and it's this angle of the triangle, they are together. Now let's see if this angle will fit into there. There we go, we're going to turn it around and we're going to put it into our space. And we can see that the three angles in the triangle give us 180 degrees. Right, so the property of all angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees has just been proven. Like I said, you do your own triangle. You can either cut these angles out or you can tear them off, color code them, put them onto a straight line and see if it works. Do it with many different triangles, many different sizes. It should work. Right, let's look at the next property. This is an exterior angle of a triangle equaling the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So for example, if we were to extend that, that would be the exterior angle and that would account for that plus that. If we were to extend it that way, we know that that's the exterior angle and it would equal that plus that. Right, we're going to look at that exterior angle. There we go. We're going to see if that angle is equal to that one plus that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a big blue star on that one. We're going to take it out. And then we are going to take out our red and our yellow angles. There we go. There's the red one. There's the yellow one. Let's see. Let's turn the red one around. Does it fit in there? Yes. Okay, we must make sure that the vertices um, match up. We're going to then see if the yellow angle fits, and it does fit, which means that the two interior opposite angles equal the exterior angle. Right, now, what I'd like you to do, again, is for you to try this on your own at home. I'd like you to draw an, a triangle, and I'd like you to use any exterior angle with the other two interior opposite angles and see if they fit. Draw many triangles, all shapes or not shapes, they all have to have three sides, but whether they're big or small, right angled or um, isosceles or scaling triangle, it doesn't matter, the two opposite interior angles should equal the exterior angle. Right, let's go on to the third property. This is angles opposite the equal sides of an isosceles triangle are equal. Right, let's have a look, here's an isosceles triangle. We're going to try and prove that the red star and the blue star angles are equal because they are opposite the equal sides. So let's cut them out again. There we go. And there's the blue star angle. We're going to turn the blue star angle over and see if it fits on top of the red star angle. And it does. Again, I urge you to try this on your own. Draw isosceles triangles, big, small, medium size. Do Two equal sides, obviously, because that would make an isosceles triangle. Take the, side, the angles opposite the sides, cut them out, and see if they fit equally on top of one another. And I'm sure 
you will see that they do. Um, and guys, just because you are doing this, this helps cement these facts in your mind. And you will realize that they are all true and you are able to then retain that information because you've done it yourself practically. Okay, what we're going to do is try and apply these three properties. We're going to use them to try and work out unknown angles in a triangle. So our first triangle looks like this. We have got 50 and 30 as angles that are given to us and we need to work out angle X, okay? So we are going to use the um, angles of a triangle all being 180 degrees. 180 minus our 50 plus 30, so 50 plus 30 first, and then we're going to take that away from 180, and that would give us 80, because 50 plus 30 is 80. 180 minus 80 gives us 100. That is the sum of the interior angles in a triangle is equal to 180. It's that reasoning. Right. Let's see if we can do another one. Here we've got an external angle that we're going to be looking at. It's 130 degrees. We've got an internal angle of 70 degrees. And we have got to find out the size of A and the size of B. Right. There we go. Find the value of A and B. I'm sure you could probably do this on your own, but let's go through it together. So first of all, A, we're going to look at angles on a straight line, and we know that angles on a straight line give us 180 degrees. So if we've got one of those angles, we can say 180 minus 30, that will give us 50, which means that angle A is 50 degrees. Okay, angle B would be 130 minus 70 because its exterior angle of the triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interiors. So if we've got the exterior, one of the opposite interiors, we can work out the other one. So 130 minus 70 would give us 60 degrees. So B is 60 degrees. Okay, or we can use angles in a triangle. So the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180. We know that that's 70, we know that that's 50, which means that we can work out B. So 70 plus 50 then is 120. 180 minus 120 will give us 60 degrees. Can you see? It doesn't matter which reasoning we used, but we will get the same answer. So that's 60 degrees no matter which way we would work it out. Right. Let's see if you can try one on your own. Here's your triangle. There's an exterior angle we're going to be looking at. That's 135, and the angle inside the triangle is 80. We need to work out M and N. So find the value of M and N. Pause the video now. Try and write it down. Use your reasoning. Don't forget to write that down. That's very, very important. And then we'll go over it together. Right, let's go over it together. Here we have M is 180 minus 135, because that's angles on a straight line. And that is going to give us 45. So M is 45 degrees. Okay. Then we need to work out N. We can either go, it's an exterior angle. We know that the sum of the interior opposites equals the exterior angle. So 135 minus the 80 that we've been given. And we're going to end up with 55 for N. Or we can work it out the other way, where we're using the, the sum of the angles in a triangle being 180 degrees. So all three of these gives you 180 degrees. We've got 180 minus 80 that we've been given, minus the 45 that we've worked out for M. And 80 plus 45 is 125. 180 minus 125 gives us 55 degrees. So there we have our M being 45, N being 55, and B, that angle there was given to us as 80. Right, let's look at another one. Here's another one for you to try. There is our triangle. Hint, have a look, it is an isosceles triangle. You need to find the value of F and G. Pause the video and see if you can find out those two values, and then we will go over it together. Let's see how you did. Okay, we're going to look at C here and find that value. So it's 180 minus 110 angles on a straight line. Okay, we also, so that angle there would be 70. We also know that this is an isosceles triangle. So then we could take 180 minus that angle and divide it by 2. 
as it says there, because angles in a triangle are equal to 180, and the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. So that angle is equal to that. So if we go 180 minus 70, because that's that angle is 70, divided by 2, 180 minus 70 is 110. 110 divided by 2 would give me 55, which means that F is 55 degrees. Okay? We then want to find out G. G would be 180 minus 55, because we know that this angle is also 55. Angles on a straight line would be um, 180. Um, so 180 minus 55, your angle G, your external angle, angle G, is 125. Right. Well done, guys, if you got that one. Okay, and that's all we're going to do for today. I know the lesson is a little bit short, but we've done quite a lot. Don't forget to try um, your activity to um, use your properties to solve all the problems in your activity to find out all the unknown angles. Thank you for listening, guys. And remember, if there are any questions, if I've gone a bit too fast, please remember to send an email to grade 9 at worksheetcloud.com and somebody will get back to you by answering your query. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.